Black Sheep Mining does it again. The crawler lever is out now. Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 18 mods as far as all platforms. We have 11 new and 3 updates. And for PC and Mac, we got 1 new and 3 updates. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the Endgame Mod Hub. So get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss anything. All right, starting off today with some new mods for all platforms. We have the Crawler Loader Lever 622 pack from Black Sheep Modding. You guys may remember this from Farming Simulator 19. It is is back now we've also got the universal bucket with this we've got a silage fork which holds 2500 liters we have a manure fork which also holds 2500 liters we have the full forestry mulcher oh yeah love that and we also have a 3000 kilogram weight for the back and we also have a plow for this as well which is really cool three meters 100 horsepower it is what it is but Let's take a look at the main piece itself. This has 275 horsepower. It's got a variable transmission, 80 liters of fuel, and 12 miles per hour. I know yesterday I said I wasn't going to talk about weight, but this weighs 24.6 tons. I feel like that's extremely important to know. We've also got a couple different versions, basically forestry, yes or no. Warning triangle, that's going to be thrown on the back, yes or no there. And then for every implement and the vehicle itself, we've got different colors. You've got yellow, orange, we have a lighter green, and then more of like a forestry issue green we also have a nice flat gray we have a matte black and we have a shiny black and you could choose whichever one of those that you want probably most popular is going to be this yellow now the rim color this is where it gets cool because you can also do the same thing to the rims as well and it changes all of those colors slot count also super super low nine slots for the piece of equipment and then two to three slots for everything else this is a really neat Piece of equipment right here. I'm digging it. Next up from the ARM team, we have their Mac Pinnacle 64R. This is a really nice grain truck. We talked about this at Farm Sim News earlier this week. And hey, guess what? It's here. It is out now. 425 horsepower. We got a manual transmission inside. 886 liters of fuel. You're going to be carting all day long. It's got a 49 mile per hour max speed and 22,000 liter capacity for the back. It weighs 8.9 tons. Now, the interesting thing that you need to know about uh, you kind of ignore all of these extra C things. I've got a special mod installed. Actually, you know what? Let's just go over to the console. You can see it only holds your, what was that? Eight different grains plus seeds and solid fertilizer. It doesn't hold anything else. So you're not going to be putting grass or forage, nothing like that in here. It is only used for that stuff. Now, as far as customization, we've got no ladder. We've got with a ladder. It's going to pop it on the side. Do we get one on the other side? We do not. Attachers include a trailer hitch on the back. That's nice to have. Engines. We have the 425. We also have a 455, a 505, and back down. All of those come with a manual transmission. Wheel setups include a standard wheel. We do have wide tires. Those are chunky, man. Yeah. It's so only two different tire options there, but it is nice to have multiple versions. As far as versions, we have different color versions. Every base game color, plus we've got like a custom red, something like that looking very good design color let's change this up to yellow aha uh -huh. so that's going to be on the very back you could change that to whatever color you want including light gray very nice see that uh yeah it looks to be the exact same as the other light gray plus we have all four of your standard rim colors i'm sure you guys can find a way to make this look really really good so it counts 18 not awful next from universe simumani we have a weeder pack this is the garford robo crop and we've got three pieces in here uh really they well it seems like they weigh a little bit but you've got some for corn sunflowers and sugar beet so let's take a look this is 1.3 tons 90 horsepower six meters seven miles per hour it is five slots next one kind of the same thing weighs a little bit more and it's six slots and the next one weighs a little bit more otherwise everything's the same and it is six slots now these machines are ideal for use in a lot of different cultures uh with fixed inter row options they combine lightness and robustness with efficient working in all cultures and all conditions so again we talked about the three models you've got a six row looks like a nine row and then we've got the last 12 row with a lot of different stuff 
This is neat because it actually gives you specifics, but just heads up, it will work for everything. They all do the same thing. Um, it's just kind of a little bit more realistic. That's all. Next up, we got a new trailer from David MTNZ. I am modding. This is the Lizard HBT2 trailer. This holds 24,300 liters. It is bulk crop, so whatever you put in it, you're good to go. It weighs five tons by itself. Will brands include Trellborg, BKT, my favorite, and Rhinestein. You can't change those up, so they are what they are. Designs include a drawer. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be. The drawer. Ah, okay. So we just got a few little pieces there in front. Doesn't look like they do anything, but it is nice to have some optional stuff. Then designs. You got a lizard sticker. You've got the little lizard hanging across the wall. And then a couple different things. Those are cool. I like the lizard logo. Also, this is eight slots on console. So very, very affordable. It's a pretty basic trailer. No color options. No wheel color options. Uh, and the uh, hubs are the same color as the rims. Pretty basic overall. Next up, we got the 30-foot flatbed trailer combo. This is from Mac Trucker 921 This has quite a few different options. It is, well, of course, as you can see right here, normal trailer all at first, but with a few different options, you could change it up to a tipper bed, which holds 34,700 liters. It'll also hold 41.4. And then back down, we got a logging version as well. So different versions, all the same trailer. Nice to see. Will brands include Trellborg, Lizard, Nokian, and back and forth between those. No tracks or anything like that. Just got some nice looking wheels on there. Hitch configuration, we got that flat frame. We've also got a flat frame with a rear hitch. So it'll throw a rear hitch on there. You've also got a gooseneck option with a rear hitch and back in. As far as that frame, ooh, that's a lot of colors. Let's see. Can we go two-page tractor? Yes, we can. Body with log forks. Let's go red. Nice. Looking good. How's about a cover? Well, we don't have anything with a cover right now, so let's go over to... Yeah, there you go. Can we add the cover? Yes, we can. There you go. It looks like it's going to be a rolling cover. That's nice to see. Steel deck configuration. We'll go with a bright orange. Okay, so that is your steel deck right there. And then rim colors are rim colors. Shared gray one. Uh, That's base game gray where I come from. But you can choose... Well. Pretty much every color under the rainbow. Overall, only 10 slots, so that's not bad. It is a pretty big trailer, so be aware. Uh, sizing, this is going to be massive. What do you want to use this with? 2020 and the 3500. Likely the only things that will be able to handle this. From FSG, we've got one of their trailers that released today. The Lizard LT679 Short Log Trailer. They also have a long log trailer as well. Um, but I don't think that came out today. We'll take a look and see. Otherwise, uh, this bad boy right here is going to weigh 4.4 tons. It is only five slots on console. So very, very low slot count usage. As far as height for your hitch, you've got the straight neck. You also have a drop neck and even a goose neck. So yes, you've got a goose neck option for this. It's it's pretty big. Uh, Will Brand, Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Nunkian, and Frontstein, if that matters to you guys. Fenders, you can remove them or you can keep them on there. I like that. They look pretty good. Rear hitch, you can add that if you want to. So you can hook up quite a few of these together. Toolbox, yep, or nope. Yep, either way, doesn't do anything, but you could have it on there. And then we've got some main colors. So here is your color palette. And let's just go with a bright gold color. That looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, let's see. Let's go with maybe white for that. So you can see everything that's changing. And the rim colors, of course, are rim colors. Um, metallic copper? Sure. Placeable time. We got some split rail wooden fences and gates. These are also from Mac Trucker 921. So you've got a couple different ones. So you've got a normal fence, which is great to see. You've also got a different one. So this is going to be your gate. So let's see. Let's click it in and then boop. Now we have a gate right there. And then we also have a double. So we can put that in as well. Boom. There you go. Tell you what, they're so easy to do in Farming Simulator 22. It's so easy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So we can come over here, open that up, open up the single one. And then, of course, we have the regular fence. This looks really good. Great for American Farm, something in the woods, anything like that. You guys will like this. Next up, we've got the Garage 28 by 11. Let's go in and take a look at this thing. So it is very cheap. $35,000. Not bad. Interior is looking very, very good. Daily upkeep, 30 bucks per day. The doors open very fast. As you can see, you don't have to sit around and wait for them or anything like that. Uh, definitely a great middle point between like realism and just <laughs> get it over with. 
This is very nice, man. Super easy to use. Next up from Mantrid, we have his in-ground liquid manure tanks. Now, these are well, basically manure tanks, but they're but or kind of in-ground instead of above ground. Does that make sense? I'm going to shut up now. Anyway, we've got a couple different ones. So the in-ground liquid manure tank, that's going to be found right here. $65,000 for that. And then we have a deep in-ground liquid manure tank. Oh, and I'm in the manure tank. Let's, let's get out of that. The deep one is actually very, very far down in there. So that is nice to see. We've got a little bit of realism going on with that. Uh, capacities, half a million and four million liters. Sorry, half a million and two million liters. That's my bad, not four. I mean, they're just silos at the end of the day. Check them out. Looking good. One heads up just in case if you're going to put these down and then move them somewhere. Uh, they do dig out the ground. Obviously, they are in-ground silos and they will leave um, some grass there, or not grass, but they will leave a little bit of dirt and a little bit of gravel. So, heads up. Alright, so your next to last new mod today is very neat. This is from Cookie Cat, and it is the packing facility. Now, as you can see, we have carpentry, sugar mill, grain mill, spinnery, food factory, dairy, and, well, packing facility. Now, this is neat because they say the mod aims to motivate players to produce everything the game has to offer. The packing facility is a production facility that you can see right here that packs every product produced at the end of each production chain. So you have all of your regular production chains, and then, of course, you have the packing facility that takes care of all of it. All products need to be packed into three categories. Foods, objects, and liquids. Again, seven categories. We have carpentry, sugar mill, grain mill, spinnery, food factory, and the dairy. Uh, these all make six new products as well, and the products are movable by ha hand, and storage has been extended uh, to about two meters, they say, or two million. Um, a lot faster production times and cheaper costs. So maybe this is one of the only facilities that you need or one of the only mods that you need. So let's start off with carpentry right here. Well, uh, you've got furniture and pellets. And that's about it right there. You've also got uh, wood chips as well. I think pellets are brand new, so that's kind of cool. Then we have the sugar mill right here. Now, the sugar mill, if I remember correctly, has sugar and syrup. So that is very, very cool. Those are some, uh, some new things that you guys can get from that. Next up is the grain mill. I'm trying to find these on the website. They're not in order. Uh, this produces flour uh, and only flour. So nothing new there. The spinnery right here. The spinnery is going to be doing fabric. So well, there you go. Fabric, nice and easy. Food factory. Hey, yo, food factory. Let me find this on the, on the website. Where is it? Um, I, I think it's Otis factory. Yeah, I think, I think that's what this is. Uh, anyway, uh, cereals, ketchup, yep, that's definitely it. Uh, salad and crisps, or chips, uh, it's very, very cool. And then lastly, we have the dairy. Well, of course, you guys know dairy. We've got cheese, chocolate, and soy milk. Ayo, something brand new there. Very cool. Um, and then you just take all of those and bring them over to your packing facility, and then it packs them in orders. Uh, again, those three uh, products are going to be foods, objects, and liquids. Check this out. This is incredible. And our last new mod for all platforms, uh, it was earlier in the list, but I needed to move it to the end because I need to talk about this mod and the creator. This is something maybe you should be a little bit wary of, at least for now. This mod was from Adams Kong, who has had at least three other mods removed already from the mod of FS22 alone for stealing them and using them without permissions and they're not back on mod hub no matter what he tries to tell you on his facebook page this is very illegal and honestly i'm shocked that he's even still allowed to release mods on mod hub i find it interesting that the only mods that have not been removed from him on the mod are conversions from fs19 and fs22 base game things that have been converted uh every other mod's been removed because of illegal use so i do find it a little bit difficult to believe that he made a peterbilt from scratch and then threw a lizard logo on the front it's a very cool track or truck and i wish players uh could have the Things like this without bonds being stolen. Hopefully, this is one of those. But I do wanted to remind you guys, uh, because we talked about this many times in videos and in the Farm Sim Show, be very wary of Adams Kong. Unfortunately, his track record has been very consistent in a bad way for the past two years on Mod Hub, spanning FS19 to 22. Now, with that out of the way, the important stuff, uh, things like that, I do want to show you these because they are pretty cool trucks. Let's give it to it. Um, there's three trucks. So we have the cab over, uh, we have the DD60. wonder where you got that from. Uh, cab over dog, aka the 
Cat uh, Challenger, and then we've got the uh, 8V920. So basically, we have a Detroit, a uh, Cat, and then another engine right there. I'm not sure what the last one is. Customization, otherwise, is exactly the same, but we do have a couple different setups overall. Uh, wheel brands include Continental, Trelleborg. We do have different setups for those, and you've got different uh, versions all the way around. Choose the one that you like. Deflectors and stripes, we've got a couple different versions here. You can, again, go through, choose the ones that fit your style the best. Bumpers, yeah, we do have quite a few different bumpers on the very front. Uh, different colors and a couple different uh, setups, but otherwise, I think that's about it. Sun visor, yep, you got the sun visor on there. A couple different styles, again, those look pretty familiar. Uh, mud guards, yep, you can do a couple different mud guards. Again, looking pretty familiar back there. Uh, exhausts, different exhausts, not too many. Uh, but you do have multiple different options, left and right. So if you want to put things on the left or the right, uh, you do have the option to do that. Engines include uh, the 330 horsepower with 11 speed, 13 speed, and a 15 speed, as well as an 18 speed. And then there's 350 in all of those. And then we have a 375, and a 400, and a 430, and back in again. So tons and tons of stuff right through there. Here's your color palette. This is a different one that I don't think I've ever seen before, which is great to see. A couple different purples. I know Trucker Matsy's gonna love that. We also have a couple design colors here as well. We'll just go with a peach color and just show you where that changes. And of course your rim colors are rim colors at the end of the day. Customization you're gonna find is extremely similar between all of them. They all just come with different setups. But again, be very, very cautious of Adams Kong. Um, he has been found doing uh, very nefarious things with the community over the past few years. So I want to make sure that you guys are at least well informed and can make your own decisions. All right, making our way into some mod updates for all platforms. First one is the John Deere 959 Elm. This is from North Bonnet Company, version 1001. Fixed an issue with the braking force, fixed the tracks going faster than they should, fixed the leveling not working, so forwards and backwards, and adjusted the wheel physics to behave better. Next up, we got an update to the CR600. Get, if you haven't used this before, definitely check it out. Super cool. Anyway, this is version 1001. Fix the warning for AI area. So this is related to the previous patch, 1.4.1, which made a lot of mods not behave like they had been before. Well, everything should be fixed now. And lastly, we have an update to the Gvernland CLE 430. This is going to be version 1001. Added color configuration and changed the description version to 65. Quite a few, well, well, not a lot of updates today for all platforms, but definitely check them out and get them all downloaded. All right, making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today, and we actually only have one of them, and it's really not a new mod. It's an updated version of the 30-foot flatbed but it's the auto loading version. So the same version that we got for all platforms today and back up to it right here, this one, but it's auto loading. So we've got auto load for square bales. You have each of one, so 1 1.2. So that's the baby bales. We have a whole trailer just for those. Uh, it looks like it holds, I don't know how many, but it holds 37,800 liters. Okay, um, <laughs> or 24,000, I'm not sure. We also have one that's regular square bells, regular round bells. Then we've got a cotton bell and a cotton bell uh, round. So round and square right there. I only hold two or four. So that is very, very nice. As far as everything else, we do have uh, auto load for pallets on here if you want that. And then I think we've got a, yeah, right here. So we have the liquid tank and a liquid slurry spreader version on here as well. So much, much different than the console version that was released. So if you want one trailer and maybe you need it for slurry and auto loading pallets and bales and things like that, well, you're good to go. Otherwise, customization is exactly the same as the previous one. Check it out. And lastly, let's make our way into some mod updates for PC and Mac players. First up is one that's showing as new on the Mod Hub. However, this is an update version 1.2 to the bell storages. Descriptions have been improved. Translations have been improved. Round bell stores can now be uh, demolished. You've also got a store mod icon now without fences. Added snow free zone for all stores and placed into each other is now only possible when activating free placing. Next up, we've got an update to the Oracle TX 130. This is version 1.006 now. Added total mixed ration, silage, and chaff to the trailer, and they fixed the license plate positioning. And lastly, we have have an update to the simple inspector this is going to be version 1.0.1.7 additional feature custom order per line we've also got bug fix settings half pass that was incorrect 
And lastly, at the very bottom, barely read this, it is um, I-10L KPM versus KP slash H. So there you go. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Hit my microphone. Oops. <laughs> Let me said. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.